Macedonian militia, which fought against French armies from the 1750s. Because of my exceptional leadership in the revolution, during the Revolutionary War, the colonists selected me to be the first president. I was a strong farm boy who, whose birthday landed on February 22nd, 1732. My family lived on a farm. Eventually, I grew into, an, into a tall and athletic boy who loved riding horses. When my ferry moved to Ferry Farm, I was only seven years old. About four years later, when I was 11, my father tragically died. Four more years later, I moved to Mount Vernon. I joined my half-brother and his wife um, in their home because Lawrence was my eldest brother. My brother was very kind. Mount Vernon was a wonderful place in Virginia, which had an extremely cool army of men called the militia. When I was 20 years old, I joined the militia. Immediately, a job was assigned to me to deliver a note to someone that was, that was more than 300 miles away. In the 1750s, France and England were at war in America. I safely survived the war and left the militia in 1759. The Revolutionary War, which was gory, proceeded from 1775 to 1783. Obviously, since America isn't under British rule, the colonists were the victors. In 1789, Congress elected yours truly as president. Because of my leadership, I was a very strong president. Not to brag, but I served the country extremely well. <laughs> after serving two terms, <laughs> after serving two terms as president, I humbly refused to serve another term. Since my childhood, I matured phenomenally which prepared me for an incredible future. Valiantly, I led the militia in my 20s. Loyally, I governed as president. I'm known as the father of our country. My life and legacy led America to her freedom and helped build, helped build a country worth fighting for.